Hello dear developers and programmers, welcome to Guild Geekify Programming. My name is Saeed Kohansel, a full-stack web developer and your guide. In this video I will teach you steganography using a simple and fast method, and with a tool called Steguide, we can inject hidden files of various formats into images or audio files and keep or transfer them secretly. While the hidden items remain securely undetectable, and to hide and also extract hidden files both the source and the destination systems must have Steguide installed. Well, let's get started. I have prepared a few files here to run tests on. I have an image, an audio file, and a text file. My intention is to hide this text file inside the other files. And note that this text file is only an example and you can use any other format such as a zip archive. For example, I want to create a new image that is exactly identical to the image here but contains this text file inside, and likewise create an audio file that is exactly like the original but contains this text file. Let's check these files one by one. This is Gil Geekify Programming YouTube channel. Alright, to begin steganography we need a tool called Steguide. You can download and use it from its official website. I will put the required links in the description of this video. On that website, simply go to the download page and download the version for your operating system. Currently I am on Windows and I have already downloaded the tool, so now it's time to run it. To use this tool, extract the zip file and move it to the C drive. Next, press Windows key plus R, and use Run to open System Properties. Now go to the Advanced tab and then click Environment Variables. In the System Variables section, find the Path variable and edit it. Add a new entry that contains the path to your Steguide folder. That's it, now we can use Steguide from the terminal or CMD. Open a CMD or PowerShell in the directory where your files are located. First, I'll check whether Steguide is installed or not. Yes, as you can see it returned the version, so it is running correctly. If you type just Steguide, the system will return helpful information about Steguide. I have prepared a list of useful commands for you and I will definitely put the link in the description. Now let's use them, and to understand the details of each command you can read the built-in documentation in the terminal. By running this command I intend to create a new image that contains this text file. Just run the command, then it will ask you for a passphrase which you can enter or just press enter to create it without a passphrase. Note that when you type a password in terminal environments nothing is shown on screen but it is still entered and works. Yes, as you can see the new image was created, this file is exactly the original with the difference that it now hides an extractable text file inside. To check the information of a file and whether it has been steganographed use the info command, which I will also test. Yes, as you can see Steguide detected that this image is steganographed and also displayed the name of the file hidden inside. Now it is time to extract the hidden file. I will delete the text file so we can extract it from the image. Just run the extract command on the target file and by entering the passphrase if you set one you will gain access to the hidden text file. Yes, as you can see this text file was returned to us exactly like the original version before steganography. So up to now we learned how to use steguide, and now I will perform another hiding operation with this audio file.
This is Gil Geekify Programming YouTube Channel. Alright, so we successfully steganographed an audio file and also extracted the hidden file. Keep in mind that the file you want to hide can be in any format or even just a string, but Steguide only supports a limited set of image and audio formats for steganography. Now you can transfer the output files, for example to a friend, so they can decrypt them with Steguide. One important final note, when transferring steganographed output files make sure the file is not optimized or compressed because the hidden data will be lost. For example if you send the output image on Telegram as a photo the hidden content will be destroyed. But if you send the same image as a file the hidden content will remain inside the image and be transferred correctly. If you found this tutorial useful, please support me with a like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as new videos drop. Thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful.